Okay, folks. What I have here today is a small Maxpedition pouch. This is my um, personal survival kit, my PSK. And this is a part of my everyday carry. Um, it's compact and it is stuffed to the max, if you can tell. Um, it's a Maxpedition pouch. I don't know the name of it. I apologize for the model or name that Maxpedition has for it, but I got it off of Amazon. It's a nice little pouch. It's pretty well constructed. Um, I just got it. So, and I've had other pouches before um, that I've carried, and they look something like this, which is nothing more than a Molly 2 pouch. It's a hundred rounds uh, magazine pouch uh, for the saw. It holds one saw magazine and there's a hundred rounds in it. So this is what I used to carry and I had it stuffed to the max as well and you can tell that there's quite a bit of difference in the sizes. <clears throat> now both of these will fit in a cargo pocket. Uh, this one had its advantages because it was Molly. I could just hook it right on my belt. I didn't have to go through the Molly straps, but if I wanted to hook it to my uh, pack or something like that, then I could do so. So this had its advantages. Um, the only disadvantage was is that it was too large and I found myself stuffing it with too much. Um, and yeah, I know guys are going to say, oh, too much isn't, too much isn't too much. You know, you never, you, you never know you need it until you need it. Yeah, well, that's true. Um, but this is my everyday carry personal survival kit. What I choose to carry may differ from what others choose to carry. I'm only doing this as a review of what I do carry maybe to help some of the new folks out and and their preparedness now on that note um, this never hangs on the side of the uh, pouch it's always on my pocket it's a um, Gerber uh, what is it a mini pair of something or another I don't know it's a nice little knife um, I got it because it was uh, um, smaller and I could get away with it in a lot of places because of my employment and where I work um, and what I do for a living it's smaller and it meets the guidelines than what my uh, bench made mate uh, has so it's a little that's a little big and it's I have to lock it up in the in the truck. I can't carry it with me all the time like I can this. So that is the pair of something or another. I'm sorry. Anyway, it's a nice little Gerber knife. The other thing I carry, and I have probably at least a half a dozen of these things at least. This is my right in the rain pen. Um, I have these things stuck everywhere. I use them all the time. And then a Sharpie. I probably change that Sharpie out at least twice a month. Because um, I do use this stuff that's in this pouch. Now on the front of them, um, well there's the little tag that says Maxpedition on it, but it doesn't say what model it is or anything. But anyway, I'll see if I can't find it and I'll put it in the description down below. Anyway, moving on. Then I have my Streamlight MicroStream. Uh, I use this a lot. And the reason I say a lot is because this thing has a double clip. It's a pocket clip here, as you can see. And then this part clips, and it will clip on the bill of your hat. So it will give you uh, hands-free. It's light. It's uh, machine aluminum LED light. I mean it takes a double-A battery and it's very bright. I use it quite a bit. Um, then in the middle of this pocket I carry uh, 
can get it out. Okay. No, it's not a camel snuff pack. It's the tin, but it's not what you think it is. And yes, it has a ranger band around it, and I've got some electric tape around it. If I can find the end of it here, we'll open it up. There's a couple of things in here that I don't use every day, but this electric tape help, helps it stay a little more waterproof than normal, and there's only about a foot of electric tape here. I'll set it off to the side. Now, the Ranger Band isn't on here to hold it closed because this does have some little indentation snaps on both sides so the whole lid comes, the whole thing comes apart. <clears throat> the Ranger Band's on there so that if I had to take this out of the pack and put it in my pocket, just my pocket, the slick little piece of tin that this is made of, um, I can't stand it sliding around in my pocket. This kind of helps hold it and it doesn't really move as well when you have the Ranger Band on it. Of course, Ranger Band has other uses. We'll get into that later. Now, this has <clears throat> two fish hooks in it, taped with a piece of Gorilla duct tape. And this is the one inch wide duct tape. And we'll see some more duct tape in there. This is military grade line. And we have some little fire tenders in here. This is a 100 pound test. It works perfect um, for fishing. There's also some fishing line buried in here too. I always have a piece of aluminum foil. This is probably an 18 by 18 inch square piece of aluminum foil. This has all kinds of uses. And we can go into a whole big list of the uses for this. Um, we have some fishing line. Now I'm very redundant. These are uh, waterproof matches and they're wrapped in some Gorilla duct tape. We've got a little bit of snare wire here. And I have some cotton pads. I like these cotton pads. Now my wife bought a big tube of these things and it's for makeup, taking makeup off. Um, and I happened to see them and this has been several years ago and I thought you know what these would be great for making fire tender out of because it has a kind of a not as cottony that would separate but it has like a coating over it that you can put um, put Vaseline on. So all the Vaseline's rubbed on, rubbed on there and that's two pads that if you lay them flat they lay in there just nice. And then I have my little wood saw in there in case I need that. So let's kind of move this stuff over to the side. We'll move on. Um, nothing else in the, in the front pouch. Of it. Now let's get into the big main section. This thing's huge. Like I said, I'm very redundant and I'm big on threes. Again, wet fire. Great for uh, our fire. Great fire tender. A lighter. That's a big full size, brand new. Um, Put that back in there. This is a uh, uh, one of the US UST um, little quick matches I guess they call it. I'm not really 100% sure. I got it just to try it out and I have actually purchased a few of them to give to my daughter and my wife as a part of their kits. And this is pretty neat because it it can go on their keychain and she has hers on her keychain. Well both of them do. The, one daughter and my wife and all you have to do is squeeze it and it pops it right out and then it says it tells you right here push so if you push on it you can see it gives a little spark so it's kind of a no-brainer this is on a angle so if you hold it flat and you push here and then push down on it 
and you're using one of these in front of it, it's going to start the fire. It's very simple for someone to use. Great idea. So I carry one of those as well. Next thing is this little Gerber dime. Man, I tell you what, I was really surprised at this tool. It, it, it really surprised me on, on how durable and tough it really is. I have one of these on my keychain as well, and I'm a technician, so I use small needle noses quite a bit. And I've not wanted to go to the truck to get a pair or something. I've had this on my, in my key in my pocket and have used it. Um, wire cutters. It has a nut and bolt wrench right here, and then it has some crimp pliers here, and then some pinchy needle noses there. So there's like three different stages, um, four different stages here, because it'll cut, it'll cut wire. Um, it'll cut the snare wire fine. And I believe this is 16 gauge snare wire. So it's a little heavier than most people carry. Um, the dime has, of course, the, well, I don't have any fingernails or much of one anyway. It's got a, a knife or a uh, flat blade. This is considered their Phillips tip, a file. Um, has a small pair of scissors here. And here it has a very, very sharp blade. That, not, that blade is extremely sharp. And then you have this cool little box cutter knife. Um, again, extremely sharp. And attached to it, I have a little Streamlight Nano. Um, it's a nice little light. I keep it in there as well. Moving on, let's move to the back of the pouch. Here's the first aid kit. It's just a small one. Again, I'm very redundant. Now you put it in heavy duty Ziplocs. These are freezer type bags, not just little sandwich snack bags. This has a large band aid in it, some smaller band aids in it. Um, and then I think the most important part of this whole little personal first aid kit is probably the quick and clean, the butterfly bandages, and then if something's really deep and really bad and you can't get it to quit to quit bleeding, the Celox, it's a hemostatic agent. It, it uh, maybe I didn't pronounce that right. I'm not a medical guy, so, you know, this is only what I carry for my personal use. I'm not suggesting anyone use it. I suggest that you take a first aid class. Um, it clots the blood fast. This is a pad. It's not the granule. So that's a little easier to use. Um, and of course there's a single dose of ibuprofen in here and then some regular small band-aids. Then we're going to get into here, super glue. Um, this is the Gorilla Super Glue. This has multiple uses. You need to glue the sole of your shoe back on because you didn't want to walk in the wet rain and nasty mud and get, you know, your feet's already going to be wet. So if you wanted to repair your shoe sole, this stuff works great. If you wanted to repair a cut, um, you can actually put super glue on a cut and it will uh, adhese it together. And I suggest you use the um, artificial skin that comes in first aid kits but again I'm not a doctor nor am I an EMT or any kind of medical profession. I just have basic first aid knowledge and um, that is fire uses as well. Uh, the other thing I keep in here, of course, is um, I think there's about 10 feet of 1-inch Gorilla duct tape that's wrapped up there. Um, the main pack here, another baggie. This has a 
emergency blanket in it and a little cheap plastic inexpensive 99 cent uh, poncho clear plastic poncho and that can be your, used as a shelter um, you can wrap up in this blanket and then put this over top of you to keep you more dry even though this is waterproof but it is made of foil a foil mylar or whatever they call it, it substance and it uh, just an emergency blanket help keep you warm so that you don't get hypothermia so there's the uh, shelter and blanket kit um, now I'm not big on the needing to be rescued kind of thing but if I was out and I needed to be rescued and I had to break into this there's a feral wind, uh, winds but if I needed to be rescued then I've got my of course rescue mirror no, I don't have a whistle in here. Would suggest most people put whistle in there. Some writing rain paper. There's like three sheets here um, for taking notes, leaving a note. That's it for that pal that pack. And right here. Well, there's a couple of spare band-aids and a bunch of Advil. Um Advil's great. If you're caught out and you need to walk a lot and you get sore knees and sore back, whatever, Advil works great for that. It does for me anyway. Tums. Got some Tums in there. And then I've got some uh, one a day vitamins. A pencil. It's a number two lead pencil or what used to be a lead pencil. I don't think they make lead pencils anymore. And then three safety pens in case I need to pen something closed. Last but not least, some chapstick. Chapstick has multiple purposes. It can help with the fire, keeping uh, your tinder going, keep you from getting dry and split lips, whether it's out in the heat and the sun or if it's out in the extreme cold and wind. Chapstick's uh, kind of nice. Um, this happens to be the spearmint type, so it has a little flavor to it. So there you go, guys. That is my personal survival kit in a nutshell. Well, actually, in a small expedition pouch. Oh, by the way, this will fit on a belt loop. Has some Molly attachment points for it. Um, not real big on them because they I've tried to use them and they're really tight. And they might work if you use some of those Black Hawk, Black Hawk plastic Molly attachments. It's got a little hidden pocket in here. Um, always keep a little cash in here. Let's see, there's there's a five. There's twenty five bucks. It's not much, but it's something. There you go. Enjoy. There'll be a complete list in the descriptions of all the items that's in my kit. Thanks for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe.